Good morning, everyone. It's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, well, welcome. We hope that you feel comfortable in our warm, crafty community. And I'm already in my making clothes, folks. Oh, yes. This is the unholy and very messy pajama shirt that is covered in glue and glitter and all sorts of interesting craftiness. And that means that I'm going to be spending my first few hours today creating. And then after that, I got to go to the post office because I got some packages to get out and uh, maybe then a few adulting chores. But mostly I'm just going to be making up my own pace today and I'm really looking forward to it. The pup and I are just going to take it easy. Again, I thank all of you for your messages, your text messages, your emails. I was really touched, really touched. And nothing, I got to tell you, I'm not usually a phone person. I know that's a funny thing. I'm a good texter when I'm not upset. Um, but I'm not usually a phone person. I have to tell you, I had the best conversation with my friend Sabrina last night. We were just laughing it up and talking about all the paper collections. There's a whole bunch of new paper collections out, uh, both for Shabby, for Pastel Christmas. Maggie Holmes has a new collection out, folks. Oh, yes, she does. So we had a whole fun, crafty chat, she and I, and it was just joyful. You know, I think we're all very fortunate when we make crafty friends on here and I want to say that one of the biggest benefits that comes out of being part of this community is that you make legit friends and those are friends that when you're having a day like I was having yesterday can really lift your spirits. It's funny I called Sabrina because I was worried about her back and she called me back because she's worried about my dog. So we ended up just having a really nice chat and Amazingly, I felt a thousand times better afterwards. And I think that's just the gift of friendship. It's just the gift of friendship. And we could talk forever about all these new supplies. And I was telling her about that grunge board I saw from Tim Holtz. Because I'm thinking that Sabrina might need one of those. See, I, I folks would wreck the effect. I'm not gentle enough, even with a scrubber, even with a poker. But Sabrina is really good with delicate dyes. She can make a delicate dye work for her and she has the patience. So I'm like, that girl needs a grunge board, but I wanted to make sure she didn't have one, and she doesn't. So, good to know. But we were having the best crafty chat. The best crafty chat. And it was just wonderful. And that really, that friendship was born out of here. It was born out of watching each other's channels, and getting to know each other, and then swapping with each other, and then building a better friendship on top of that. And now we're actually friends. So I just want to say that for those of you who are newer to YouTube, that one of the things that can come out of this community is an actual friendship. And it's a big gift. It's a real gift. And I know Miss Carrie Martin checks up on Pat because Pat tells me, I know you do, Miss Carrie Martin. I, I know you do, because Pat lets me know you do. So that's a friendship that's being born out of this community. And how kind is that, folks, that Carrie checks in on Pat with her autoimmune? I was very moved when Pat first told me. Now I just know. She's like, Pat's like, oh, don't worry, Carrie checked in on me. Right? That's a friendship that was born out of here, too. I got to tell you, I, okay, so Lisa, Lisa, the new to create, has switched to doing a lot of lives. And I have, I saw this coming. I said from the beginning, I think that Lisa should have a crafting ministry. That's pretty much what she has now, folks. If you're looking for a way to combine God and church or God and crafting, You've got to go watch Make New to Create's live streams because that's exactly what it is and it's a whole lot of fun. I know lots of you on here are already on Lisa's channel full time, but I'm just giving a heads up to those who don't know. If you want to combine God and crafting, Lisa's the way to go, folks. I mean, look, I tell you this from the beginning. I'm not a super religious person, but my friend Lisa, I, this is what she was meant to do. She was meant to have a crafting ministry. She really was. And she's not like religious in one of those kind of like annoying ways where it's all ritual and no love. No, she's the opposite. She walks the walk, folks. That's what I mean to say. She walks the walk. She's not saying anything to you. She's not saying she's perfect. She's not saying she doesn't swear. It's kind of like that thing that between she and Dina, that whole thing about, well, I like Jesus, but I also swear a little bit. You know, that cracked me up. And that's very Lisa. That's Lisa. She's real people talking to you about real issues mixed in with her beliefs. And I actually think that makes for a great ministry. So just had to throw that out there. Yeah, the non-religious one is like, Lisa has a great crafting ministry. But you know, I, I tell you about stuff straight up if it's good. And Lisa's good. So I'm just sharing again if you haven't checked her out, you want to. But Miss Carrie Martin, you cracked me up on there. 
Carrie Martin's on the live stream, and of course I'm looking at the comments because I'm not up for the live stream, so I'm watching it after. And Carrie writes, I'm the queen of ugly mail. Oh, Miss Carrie Martin, you do not send ugly mail at all. So I don't know where that came from, but I cracked up laughing this morning. I was like, oh, Carrie, that is so funny. And you are the queen of rock, and you're like Cruz. You're like Cruz. I have loads of ideas for you for the holidays because of that. But I did laugh. I was like, girl, you are. I mean, now I'm going to have to find some way to write ugly mail on your packages because that was really funny. That was really, really funny. Listen, folks, I'm glad I clarified that thing for Miss Kayla Pampal Mama. I told you I shouldn't send out mail emails when I'm tired or I'm autoimmune. And I learned a valuable lesson. I don't do it for work and I shouldn't do it here. Sure enough, I sent that out and I did confuse someone. So I'm really glad I clarified it. Um, and we're going to have that all fixed up because poor Miss Kayla, first time in a swap group. And that's, you know what? It was just one of those days and I should not have done it. And I learned a lesson and it won't happen again, folks. I have wonderful news for Miss Sabrina. So I was right, folks. She is going to be out with back surgery, but she is not stepping down as swap leader of group two. Oh, no. It's going to keep her going during this because it's hard for her to be housebound. She's going to be housebound between now and probably November. She's not going to get out that much. She's in a lot of pain. So it's vital that we keep this going. And she, we're still doing Secret Santa. So this is important. I want to say this to you. If you are interested in doing Secret Santa, um, I want, we're going to do a formal announcement this week and have a sign-up sheet on Sabrina's channel. Or I'm going to ask you to contact Sabrina because we need to make a firm list for this Secret Santa. I know Susan was interested. I know lots of you were interested. Alicia, many of you have contacted me and you contacted Sabrina. But we're going to do a formal sheet because we have to make sure that we have everything in place before Sabrina has surgery. So I'm going to do a formal announcement of this, but just giving you an advanced heads up. If you are interested in doing Secret Santa and you have not yet contacted Sabrina, please do so or make a decision this week because I'm going to have a formal announcement for sign up so we can get this all in place before she goes in for surgery. And it's her birthday in October, folks, so I'm doing lots of thinking. Her birthday's before mine. So we're going to have to come up with something. She's going to do a shabby ornament. Oh, she's going to do her whole tree in shabbiness. You know, she does her tree in, she said, in pink, in mint green, in lavender. So folks, start thinking about an ornament. Start thinking about an ornament for Miss Sabrina's tree. Start thinking of one. I'm also thinking about something we can do to celebrate her birthday. But I got to keep my bless your heart hat on and do a little thinking about that. I hope that your day today is creative. If you have to work, I hope it goes very quickly and painlessly. If you're tidying up after the tropical storm slash hurricane, I hope it's not too much work or too much hardship or too much financial strain on you. And to everybody else, I hope you have an amazingly crafty and happy day. Pat, I hope your, your cold is better. I always worry when folks with autoimmune get a cold because it becomes pneumonia real quick. But I saw you were on yesterday, so that gave me, that gave me some hope that you're okay. But please take good care of yourself, Miss Pat. And I will be back on later today. Until then, happy Thursday, folks. Happy Thursday. And as always, thank you for spending some time with me this morning. Bye for now.